Hello ladies and gentlemen, Stephen Quick here. Today, a new painting. John Lennon. Um, I've been obsessed with John Lennon since I was about that big. I really loved his Imagineera um, and I really adored the, the album and uh, the Wicked documentary that, that went along with it. So I wanted to do something from that time period. There is a picture of John Lennon looking straight on which has been used millions of times um, and it's just his face flat on and usually in the background it's either um, something dreamy clouds something 60s like bright, bright psychedelic colors or things that sort of I, I, I guess sort of um, illustrate the imagined lyrics so that's the picture I want to use but I, I don't want to make it bright and cheerful and dreamy I want to make it a bit darker there are very dark parts of the Imagine album. So the idea is to have John's face right in the middle of the canvas, <laughs> um, have it all in greys but quite light grey. And the background I want to do in a dark colour, so either something along the lines of, of a dark purple or a dark red, dark green. And then within that dark flat colour in the background, uh, something to make it look dreamy, make it look spiritual, make it look uh, dreamlike, but I'm not quite sure what it's going to be. I'm thinking maybe chucks of paint, that might be a bit too abstract. I'm thinking maybe sprays like sort of around it to give that sort of um, misty effect or um, maybe some type of paint pens to give it like jaggedy edges. Um, I haven't really decided so that will be figured out as I go along. So um, this is John Lennon in acrylic pen spray paint on canvas. Uh, here we go. Hope you enjoy.
He is. John Lennon all done. Uh, very, very happy with him. And uh, I think the idea in the background, this dark colour, worked really well. The red was lovely. It was um, actually, in the end, um, this red I picked that I showed you, uh, which is just a um, an emulsion, an indoor emulsion. So it gives it a really nice matte finish, a really nice dark matte finish, opposed to acrylic, which gives more of a glossy finish. The face has come out really, really good. The um, the lightness, I mean, this tone, these two tones here, which is white and light gray, are extremely light. It's hard to differentiate against them, I would have thought, on the camera and in a photograph. But when you get close, you can see it. The eyes look good, that sort of kind of sad, thoughtful look. And then the... Uh, thing that I thought was really good because I did it by accident were these swirls. They were done with um, some paint pens, these massive fat ones. It's big, these are Molotow, you can get many makes of these. They have got a very fat end to them. So as you draw, you get, you get a nice, perfect line. Um, and it works really well. So that's what I did in this background. So it's just a white one and a black one. Um, they kind of have painty ink inside of them. I am really happy with how it's come out. Um, the um, the idea at the beginning is roughly what I've done. I think I took the face much lighter than I was planning on and the background was experimenting. But what I really like about it is I managed to hold back and not put too much into it. No splats, no drips. Just a very simple face which has got a lot of detail in the middle but quite plain around the outside. So um, there he is, John Lennon Imagine, sort of on the darker side which um, was the plan in acrylic paint, um, emulsion and uh, paint pens on canvas. Please let me know your thoughts down below, um, watch my other videos, subscribe, uh, like and share on Facebook and what have you. And please leave suggestions for what things you'd like to see painted down below and uh, if there's enough cool for them I shall do them next. So from me and John Lennon, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye!